very long time since I made a video. I think it's got to be like three years. That's when I was working on the Forerunner drawer boxes, which I finished but didn't record. I'll give you guys a little tour of them later. But, man, life's been just crazy. I feel like for a long time now, probably like four or five years, I've just been trying to be normal, like follow the path that you think you're supposed to follow because you have bills to pay and, you know, all the wonders of this lovely society we live in right now. But I think it's time to start doing things that I want to do, just focusing on myself. And this channel is just kind of, kind of, it's just, can't talk, it's just going to kind of follow that along and see where it goes. Sorry about the white or the exposure out here. It's uh, not the best lighting in the forest when you're in the shade and it's sunny everywhere else. And let's see if I can get it to where you can see me. Nah, whatever. So I started going to school again for data analytics and programming, which is kind of weird, um, but it's actually really interesting. And I love learning new things. It's hard as an adult <laughs> to like. I'll be doing a homework assignment and like I used to be able to just sit down and write a paper and now I sit down and I'm like wow I have to relearn how to think because we get so programmed into what we do like I have a career I'm, I'm good at what I do um, but it's just it's different now it's, it's crazy it's hard to explain but I would say if you're if you're interested or bored or just trying to be better why not take a class you know try something new try to learn something new but anyway I just wanted to show you my little setup I'm trying to do most of my work outside because it's so hard when you just get cooped up in a building all day it just you get so disconnected from this planet and just being on a computer all day doing homework is way more fatiguing for me personally than any other like super hard exercise <laughs> like, I get exhausted I don't have any energy to go to the gym nothing but ever since I've been doing it outside man I feel so much better and I just have so much more energy but yeah I'll just show you my little setup here all right so I got the Yeti trailhead chair uh, I actually really love it. it's the most comfortable camping chair I've sat in that doesn't like recline this is gonna sound like a Yeti ad but I also have their 22 liter backpack. The laptop, I have a ThinkPad um, X1 Carbon Gen 11. That seems to do really well. I have their M14 little extended screen. Super lightweight, super thin. Their keyboard, mouse, it all works. To power it all when I'm out here though, I use this little EcoFlow River Pro 2. And I'll tell you, I got this thing for about half price at an REI garage sale, and the thing was barely used. Like, <laughs> I think they had used it once. And it can charge my laptop, and my phone, and all my devices, and keep them running all day long. It's fantastic to have. And I just charge it up, come on out here, and I'm good for two days of just doing homework out in the woods. But yeah, I gotta get to work, because I have so much homework to do, and not that much time. And then later today, I'll, when it starts, when the sun starts going down, I'll show you the finished drawer box system in the Forerunner. Alright guys, I'll see you later.
things I love about coming out into the wilderness and spending some time by myself is you just get time to think away from everything. Like I'm sitting here typing my responses to these questions that the school wants me to answer. You know? And it's good, it gets your brain working. But on my breaks between that, because I'll work about 15, 20 minutes and I'll take some time uh, just to relax and let my mind wander. You really get to thinking about like what matters in your life. And to me right now, you know, this realization I had was that like I've been living to work. And as I've done that, I've kind of forgotten like who I am and like what makes me happy. You know, there's the basics like I love being outside, I love exercising, you know, I love diving into different projects and just experimenting and figuring out what I like, what I don't like, what I'm good at, what I suck at. <laughs> but, like, man, you don't really realize how disconnected you can get from yourself when you're just out here working. And, you know, I think I, I'm going to try to have this shift in my life. I'm not sure where it's going to take me or what it's going to do. Or what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I just I'm tired of living to work and I wanna go live my life. Just gotta figure out a way to do that and still make money to live off of. You know, stuff we need. <laughs> it is important. But yeah. literally been trying to capture that all day. I was sitting here writing and every time I get up, if I see that the uh, the bird flew in its little house, he would fly out because I think I'd scare him. But man, finally. I just wish this camera, it's probably my abilities. I'm sure the camera could probably do it. But I wish I could capture it the way our eyes can see it. You know, that's something that always amazes me is like, I'll look at something and see how beautiful it is. And I'll be like, you know, let me take a picture of this. And then I see the picture, I'm like, man, it just does not do it justice. But, oh well, I gotta get back to work. And then here pretty soon, I'll show you the drawer boxes. Don't, don't worry, it's coming. I'll mark it in the video so that you know if you don't wanna listen to me talk and uh, see birds flying in and out of a birdhouse, then you'll be able to skip over to that part. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. All right. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, bug just flew right in my ear. Um, anyway, here we are. Now we can talk about the drawer boxes. So, just to start off, I, I love these things. I've loved having them. Um, I will probably put something like this in every truck or SUV that I have, just because of how functional they are. There are some things that I would do differently in the future, but nothing is like, I'm not upset with anything that happened here. So I'm pretty happy with these guys. Anyway, let's get into it. So when I finished them, I finished them with like a roll-on bed liner or paint-on bed liner that has this texture in it. I think it was Rust-Oleum. I used that on all the exterior of the boxes. I wanted it to be a little textured because I didn't want everything sliding around on it, but that didn't seem to do anything. Um, if you put some bags back here, like it's still just gonna slide around. Uh, if you're driving a little crazy or if you're on a really rough road but yeah so I, i'm not sure how we could fix that in the future maybe like a rubberized coating maybe some rubber on top i ended up putting like these bugs everywhere these uh like cheap foam gym mats that you can buy at like any home depot or lowe's um, and i like it because i sleep on top of here it gives it a little more cushion um, but I sleep on a sleeping pad, so it's not necessary. 
I think it might help a little bit with keeping bags in place when you're driving around, but honestly, I've truly really transitioned a lot of my gear I put in like large Pelican cases, so it's not that big of a difference. On the edge, I used some aluminum angle iron and I routed down into the top and screwed it down. And this allows it so if I hit this with a box or anything, it just dings the aluminum angle iron a little bit, but it's not gonna chip the wood and it's not gonna start making the bed liner flake off and cause damage to the box that can't just be easily fixed. If this ever gets too messed up, which I don't see it ever getting too messed up, I would just cut a new piece and screw a new piece on. It's that simple. So the boxes themselves, I think this angle will show. Yeah, let me fix the camera a little bit. There we go, that's a little better. The boxes themselves are awesome. I love them, they're super sturdy. I can put all my weight on this. I have no, no fear of it breaking. Um, they have tons of storage. I keep all kinds of stuff in here. Little camp chairs, always necessary. Water bags for when you go to the lake. Got saws, knives, hatchets, rock climbing shoes, chalk bag, you know, the huge blankets, everything like that. Got another one over here. Opted for the same size. This one has more tools recovery. I like it because I can kind of switch it up. Like this is more camping stuff and here's more tools. Um, I got some lights in here, just things that you need to, or you should keep around just in case. There's some recovery gear. I have a Vi Air pump uh, to air down and air up my tires and my inflatable uh, paddle board. So it's just great to have something that holds all your gear and it's out of the way. And then it gives you all of this clean surface to sleep on and to just fill with bags when you're doing road trips. We can fit a dog kennel back here still uh, just, easily, just as easily as before. Um, we have a Mal, so, or Malinois, so he takes like a medium sized crate. Um, and for road trips, it's awesome because it, he feels a lot more secure, it seems, in there. Like he's a lot less anxious. He doesn't slide around. So it's overall, it's a great setup. But I'll take you around and show you how I actually attached the boxes themselves to the Forerunner. Give it a sec. All right, so on the back here, don't mind the rope. I just used some turnbuckles with the tie down spots and then I just attached these little loops, metal loops with a bunch of screws to the sides of the drawer boxes it's on both sides. You can see the kind of storage room that's on each side with these cubbies. Um, I mean it's plenty of room to store stuff, it's not just unusable space. That's a two and a half gallon water jug, um, works just fine. Here's that that matting that I was talking about earlier. This could be better. It was kind of just something I chose to do. I might get rid of it, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna take you around and show you what's underneath the sleep platform. All right, once the camera wants to adjust. All right, here we go. So this is underneath the sleep platform. I guess we can start by showing it's got three supports. One on each side and one in the middle. Uh, they're just different lengths that help support it. I mean, it's nothing fancy. It's just some wood glued and screwed together and then uh, propped up under there and screwed to the top. There is a ton of space down here. I can store an 80 liter like backpacking backpack on each side. And then if I don't have those in there, like I can put camp chairs under here. I can put tables under here. It is just an awesome amount of space to have. As you can see, I just used some turnbuckles again to attach not only the sleeping platform to the box itself, because I can remove the sleeping platform if I want to, um, but I just haven't, I have no need to. And then again, turnbuckles from the box itself to the tie down points that were originally in the Forerunner. And this is with the seats removed, clearly, and this goes through, I just have a bunch of junk over there. I'm sure you could modify it if you did leave your seats in there to actually uh, just have the same platform above the seats, but you will lose all that storage. Overall, I'm super happy with this drawer box system. It was straightforward to build, it was easy. Um, 
yeah. I say try it if you're if you're uh, thinking you want something like this, and do it yourself. You can modify it however you want. This is just very simple, but you could add organizers to the drawer boxes. You could make them like extend out and then have a table. There are just so many options out there. Gr a lot of great videos on the internet <laughs> about these dudes building awesome, awesome setups. So yeah, give it a shot. All right. It's 3:30. I was waiting to see if I could hold off until dinner time, but I'm getting kind of hungry, so. Chicken and mashed potato dinner is what it is. You know, I actually kind of like these. I've been eating them for years now, ever since I've been camping. I've always got mountain house meals. Um, recently branched out to some other brands. There's some good ones out there, but I don't know. I just always come back to these ones. Cheesy mashed potatoes. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Oh, thickened up. Let's see. Mm. Dang! That's good. Bears. So you're probably shaking all around. Mm. That's delicious. I'm gonna finish this and then do some more homework. I'll show you guys how I set this thing up for uh, sleeping. starting to get ready for bed. I just set up my sleeping system. It's super simple. I'll show it to you here. Just a sleeping bag, sleeping pad, pillow, and a little hanging light so I can read and chill out till the sun goes all the way down. I got these really cool nets that just slide over your windows so you can keep your windows down. It's great for keeping the bugs out and uh, also helps keep a little bit of warmth inside, but keep some airflow. I don't know if any of you guys have ever slept in a car with all the windows up when it's cold out. It gets muggy. It gets like wet. It's it's gross. It is not the most pleasant experience. So having some airflow will be very nice. Tonight. Anyway, I'm going to finish up some work, get to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
thought I'd go for a little walk while my tea is steeping. There's this little, uh, little bit of road over here that I figure I'd follow. Just for a bit. See where it goes. Hopefully this isn't too shaky for you guys. My uh, image stabilization isn't that awesome on this camera. But check this out. It's pretty cool. I might drive down this later. All right, getting back towards camp. There she is. Nice, nothing too crazy. Just a little walk. So I think I was just pointing you at the sky there. Man, it's beautiful out here. I'm excited for some warm tea.
Alright guys, I think that's it for this one. I'm gonna head into town, get some real food, and then uh, head back home. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.